Hi guys, Alan here in the shed again. Uh, funny old week, funny old comments. Nothing really happened. You'll see a scene on here with the Thunderbirds. Blame John Warner for that. It was his idea. <laughs> I found a Star Trek. <laughs> a Star Trek hanging. Well, there you go. So that's one little thing. Uh, so there's not a great deal of updates. Uh, what I have done is got my gold train out. I'll show you a few clips of the gold train running. And the other thing was, I had a couple of comments uh, when I show them how the, uh, the lighting works. The LED strip lights. Uh, just bear with me. Get the packet out. These, these strip lights. I'll show you how to wire them up. That's all. Okay. So that's about it this week. Uh, one thing or another, I've been playing more than anything. Uh, didn't spend too much time filming. So it's not going to be a long one, boring, whatever. It's just mainly it was about that, doing the lights. Okay? Oh, and the other thing was, <laughs> it's always one more thing. <laughs> I'm going to show you a few close ups of the shed uh, and the reason why it's going to stay like it is. Okay? That's all. My personal opinion, my layout, rule number one, it's mine. End of. Now it's been suggested to me, uh, am I going to weather or paint this uh, shed? And the answer to that is no. Uh, this shed may be an old design, may be an old building in people's eyes. But this is had a, a 21st century upgrade. So it's had a complete new roof. Okay. And they're all tiled. And you have to go to a great deal of trouble to put them tiles on. And it's the same with the brickwork. Justin went to a lot of trouble with the laser cutter to create the brickwork on this on this uh, shed and there's no way I'm going to ruin that brickwork with paint that took a considerable amount of time to make that uh, brickwork on there okay the other thing I want to show you is it's it's been suggested that uh, my lights are too bright uh, to me, the way I see it, this shed may have been an old design shed. It's had a 21st century uplift and it's got modern lighting in there. It's not 1957 with 360 watt bulbs. This is proper lighting in a proper shed and it's had a new concrete base as well. The outer skin has been cleaned by a pressure washer from top to bottom. Specialist crews come in and do the whole lot. So it's an old shed been brought up to date to the 21st century. Okay? So for all them little Revit counters out there, that's why it looks like it is and that's the way it will stay. I am not going to ruin that just to make it look like a wet Wednesday in 1957. It's 2020 and that's what it's going to be. Okay? The only thing missing from this scene now is Star Trek. Just need Captain Kirk to turn up. <laughs> Thunderbird one down there. Some dodgy weapons in there. Thunderbird 2's come down to check it out. Might need the mole to go underneath the church. <laughs> right guys, somebody else has turned up on the uh, the murder action. <laughs> Never guess. <laughs> Try this one. Austin Powers. Now we're safe. <laughs> 
Anyway, they're on the verge of about to move the weapon and uh, Thunderbird's taken off. They're not required. And the grave diggers can get back to work. Until uh, more assessments are done on the uh, grave scene. Nothing I can say really anymore. Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to put a PG rating on this movie. Well, that's one hell of a pose. Right guys, uh, there's one or two of you asked how I do the lights. Now, you can buy it in a kit on a reel, okay? And when you order it, make sure it comes with a transformer, which is one of these, alright? And it's there, alright? And it also comes with a plug on it. And you can get uh, various kits that will plug into that. So what I did is cut the wire. It's got red and black so there's no hassle. So I use red as red but in my case I use the white as a black because I've only got white cable. So there's no problems. So that's how you connect it up. Okay. That's, that's your power source. Okay. And it tells you all the instructions, uh, polarities and what have you. Now, on this reel, that one transformer will light up the whole of this reel, which is about five metres. You have no hassle whatsoever. OK? If you want just a small section, like you do in carriages, uh, you can cut them off. And if you see see them little brass things there, where is it? There, where my end of my finger is. Cut that. That is the place of where you cut it. Okay. So all you do is cut it there, and that will give you three. And that transformer will operate three or three hundred. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. You don't need resistors. The resistors are already here on the on the pad, okay? So all you got to do is solder your two wires to the end, connect to your power source, and away you go. Now on the back of here, if you peel this off, I don't know how easy it is to get off because uh, I don't tend to do it. It's sticky, but it's not that sticky. There it is. Got it. Oh, I've got to stay out of it. There it is. Okay. You can peel it off, and that is a sticky part there on the lights. Alright, on the back of the lights. 
you can do it that way. Okay? So you can use it as a sticky, or at least get it in place while you put a, a stronger glue on. Now, if I get the uh, the soldering iron out, and this is this is literally all you got to do. You, it doesn't take long to do it. I've got I've got two wires here. It needs. Um, am I plugged in? No, I'm not switched on. Let me warm this up. <laughs> right, we're back again. It's warmed up. <laughs> now I've turned it on. So, I've got two wires here. Okay, I'm just tinning them. Just tinning the wires. Because it makes it far easier to uh, solder a piece on. And do you know what I, I hate about this solder? It's too thin. I hate seeing people use not enough solder. And solders come in different variants, temperatures. But this, this one's... Uh, there you go, see? That's all you need. So, all I've done is tin them two up, yeah? There we go. Now, all I need to do, I hope you can see the two little brass ends there, yeah? All I need to do is tin them two. One like that. Doesn't take much. It's only a little blob. There, okay? And there is a positive sign and a negative sign, okay? So the negative. Well, I need something to uh, hold that down there. There we go. Let me uh, just trim this wire because it, it doesn't need to be long. Just trim the end off. Oh, and these, these bits are too long, so you, you want them, you only want a couple of millimetres. Because remember, you're, you're only soldering them to a small pad. I have to do this left handed on camera. Right, so you place that on there. That's one. It doesn't need to be held there, it, it only takes two seconds if that. Okay. And that, that's, that's all there is to it. Now, all you do is put them two wires there into a terminal block and power it up to your transformer. Okay. If you want to cut this here, you cut it like that in the middle of that brass, and then you can resolder more wires to that. Get more wires to your required length, wire it up exactly the same way, and put it all into a terminal block. Okay, it's as simple as that. So you can add as many as you want, because that one transformer will do the whole reel. And they're only six, seven quid. Uh, that's how they come. I mean, if if I don't know if it's wired up. I, I, um, let me see if I can plug that in for a moment. Um, since I've got them two wires sticking out of there, it might be the other end. Here. Soldering iron safe, isn't it? Yeah. Um, turn that round. Put that in there. See? It's as simple as that. Okay? And that's that's because I've wired it up to that little terminal block. That's all you need. 
and uh, that one transformer will power the whole lot or even three okay so because I'm powered up I've got a three just the three little lights on there so if I um, no, I haven't undone that hang on let me strip a bit of wire off there we go so like I said if you want to use three or 303 which way around my wire is there we go I have to think which way it's around ok so it's, it's, it's just the same like I said with either 3 or 303 so all you do is measure about how much you want in, like in my shed I've used about that much in my shed get it as near as you can trim it, wire it join the wires up into a terminal block and there's two strip lights in that engine shed and that's that, as simple as it's done uh, and like I said it comes six seven quid with the transformer if you go into wish.com they're virtually giving it away um, the only thing you gotta watch out for is the colour now this is a uh, you can get warm whites can't you uh, a warm white is, is like that this, this stuff's slightly different, you have to peel off um, there's like a rubber insulation around that so you just cut and peel that off away from the terminals so that is all sealed there, it doesn't matter it goes under water it, it won't affect it because it's all sealed or rainproof I would say uh, but this is a warm light uh, white, warm white and this is a, a, a cool white so, and then you can get coloured ones as well, multi-coloured ones. You can get um, them silly little gadgets that make it flash, you know, like Christmas lights. You can get all that type of thing. But that's how simple it is. I hope that's helped somebody. Um, there are other people shows you how to do this. Um, John Warner does this in his uh, carriages and puts a rectifier on it because you've got to have rectifiers on because you don't know which way you're going to put your coach around so it alters the polarity for you but it's as simple as that and I do believe I've heard somebody say if you don't need three you can actually peel off a light I've never done it um, don't particularly want to try and do it in case I well, I'm not going to damage it. Oh yeah, you can. There you go. You can actually take the bulb off. That is the bulb. Yeah. That's where it's tacked to. There's the pads. Now, this will light up exactly the same way. Yeah, because I'm still powered up here. We'll show you. Get the wires the right way around. Are we still powered up? Get in there. Did I pull the plug out? Obviously not. I thought it was supposed to power up. Maybe the wrong type, but it doesn't. Oh, well, that's no good. It's one of them things, isn't it? Now, it definitely needs the bulb in it to work it. Uh, there's, a, there's a tab that goes across. Yeah, it needs soldering. That's an idea. That's it. Let's give that a go. There's a bit of... Uh, I wonder if that'll work. This is an experiment. I've never done this. We learn something every day, don't we? Where are we? We wires there. 
Let's see if that works. No. No, it doesn't work. Oh well, can't take the bulbs off. <laughs> so I've learned something today. There you go. There must be um, a through connection on them. Well, there you go. I've learned something today. It's that type of uh, wiring then, the way it's wired, so you need all the bulbs in place. Because it still works, doesn't it? Knowing me, I've blown the fuse, you know. Let's just check. Yeah, that still works, but that doesn't work if you remove a bulb. Which is a shame, really, because I have seen it done on West Hill Wagon Works. Well, they don't work. There you go. Must be the wrong type of thing. Anyway. Okay. So that's how it's done. So you, it comes in threes and then there's little tabs and you just cut it with your cutters. So you can have it any length you want. Alright. And it comes all on a reel. And like I said, well you can see there, that's, that's where the uh, factory have soldered it together. Because they've joined this on. But that's how I've done the engine shed. Okay guys, I can't show you any more than that. And that's, that's about it really. And I've done a little experiment and it doesn't work. So <laughs> there you go. Learn something myself. Right then, moving on.
swap my locos over. Thought I'd give this a go for today. Class 68. And the other one I thought I'd try out today is uh, DB Shankman. That hasn't had a run for a while. <laughs> 